What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, this video is once again going to be a UA challenge guys. Uh, in this video, let's try to recreate this particular screen. Okay, this is a minimal travel diary concept uh, created by a designer called Kishore. And uh, um, it looks like, you know, plain and cool. So uh, yeah, let's get started guys. Let's first apply the 1369 rule to this particular screen. So the entire screen will be one and uh, if you need to break it down to three, then I will take this as three, uh, I mean this as one, this as two, this image grid as two and the uh, uh, row with the icons, this one as three. And uh, it looks like this is going to keep repeating. So what I'll do is uh, uh, I'll yeah, uh, we'll talk about that while we are actually coding. Uh, there's no need to break it down into six, right? This is a simple minimal screen. So yeah, guys, let's get started. Uh, I'll just have one more look at the screen. Well, there is a, okay, there is a small icon like thing here. We'll just use an O and a bell icon and a image avatar, right? Maybe click tapping on this will take us to this profile picture, profile page. Okay, so we'll have an ink well for this. Let's go ahead and do that. We have a blank application here as usual. Three images, beach images that I'll be making use of. I've also included the image. Oh, I haven't included. Wait, oh, I just hold on. All right, now I have included the uh, images and the font that will be that I'll be using in this particular uh, video get back to main dot dot and uh, first we'll do the app bar kind of thing this one travelogram uh, a small bell notifications icon and a uh, circular profile uh, avatar so I'll just get in here body and have a simple list view I just added some padding guys, nothing fancy in that. So this will be the first element of the row, which is the, uh, this text travelogram. So I'll just go ahead and add a text. All right, after this, we'll have a sized box. Is it grey? Yeah, it's somewhat grey, right? Notifications. The shade will give the give depth to that color, guys. Shade 500 will be this somewhat grey, whereas shade 900 will be a thicker shade of grey, and so on and so forth. Uh, if you give a lesser shade, uh, lesser number, then the shade will be lighter. That's the concept. And uh, fine. No,
this is this screen guys i mean this circular image at the end that's exactly what i have done here with the container and if i give the uh, radius border radius as half of the height and width then obviously the edges will be rounded in such a way that it looks like a complete circle and i place this entire setup inside an ink well so that it can uh, take us to the profile screen as well which we'll probably make in the next video or something so uh, yeah that's it guys that's it i guess uh, let's just try if this uh, i mean let's just see if this app bar now appears i'll just save this and run this on a device to show you guys all right uh, yeah it looks really good right we have this nice looking text at the left and a small uh, bell notifications icon and a small circular image at the uh, right end as well that we can tap. Okay, now let's try to create this particular uh, box. This looks, I don't think we can, if you have a, like a good UI designer on your team, uh, he'll provide you with this image that you can use here guys. Uh, so for now we'll just use an icon here, a simple navigation icon button here. Other than that, uh, this entire thing appears to be a container with uh, rounded edges and this is somewhat a different color than this screen. Uh, I mean, than th this color, the white color. And, uh, oh, this is too much white and this looks like the dirty white kind of thing, right? Sorry, this is my recorder. Uh, yeah, let's do this now. All right, let's move on with our code and start designing uh, this particular container. So first I'll go ahead and uh, switch this to switch everything to add another padding. This is for having this padding. The elements inside the container ha also has some padding, right? Uh, to mention that only I'm doing this. You see why I'm giving a shade 100 here, right? Since this shade appears to be slightly grey than the uh, background scaffold colour which was white. After this, what did I have? Maldives trip 2018 and add an update in the uh, subsequent rows, right? So I can use a column here as usual. I will give a small padding first. Okay, this will give me this padding.
and uh, we have uh, this these are just a couple of text guys that's why i just you know uh, didn't uh, i ran the, ran through this and uh, there is a small arrow to the right end right i mean right end we'll create that as well all right uh, now we have finished this box right let's run this on a device and see uh, how wow it looks really good right on our uh, device we just have this nice looking navigation icon and uh, maldives trip 2018 add an update and a small uh, arrow that points to the right and uh, the color is a little different from the uh, background white color all right that's done as well now let's move on to we just need to create a couple of texts here uh, from the community and view all and uh, the photo grid right so this is just a row with the two text guys two children the, which are texts so what i'll do is i'll simply run through this and then i'll start talking about the photo grid okay all right guys uh, i created the text a couple of text fields from the community and view all it is nothing but this particular uh, row now we let's start uh, designing the image grid so to do that i'll create a separate widget after the image grid we just need to do this which again is a couple of text fields in a row and uh, three icons right that's it oh we have a tab bar as well tab bar i didn't notice anyway uh, let's do the image grid now widget this should first i should have a big image to the left and then the right there should be two images uh that's it so i'll just go here this height is nothing but the total height guys this image height okay now oh, i'll specify a child for this container it will be a row and uh, inside this i'll have a widget uh, this container is nothing but the first image that is the bigger image okay so container this should once again be the exact same height as the original container 225.0 and uh, width will be uh, media query guys uh, here and there i have been using the width attribute right in the sized boxes and all that you should be calculating that width based on the screen size okay uh, for since this is a demonstration purpose and then i am just using a uh, size boxes to Uh, give some spacing between a uh, couple of text in a row or something text fields in a row or something i am just uh, uh, you know pro giving an approximate value for the uh, sized box width but in reality while you are doing for a production build you need to uh, calculate the uh, width of the screen and based on that only you need to uh, allocate the width uh, inside your ui elements accordingly so i'll just show you one example of how to do it this i'll just give media query dot of context uh, dot size dot width divided by 2 this will be exactly half of the screen right but this image if you notice it's not exactly half of the screen it's more than half of the screen so we'll just add a 
40.0 okay mocks decoration border radius border radius dot only top left radius dot circular it was just top left and bottom left right top left and bottom left here it was just sharp edges okay uh, that's done <coughs> now we'll just include the image as well here itself all right now we have done the uh, this big image part now let's do these two small images so to do that uh, once again i'll add a sized box i'll add a very very small width you know why I'm adding this very small width, right? To for this white line, and there is a white line here as well, right? We'll do that as well. And uh, I'll add a column since these two images are one below the other. Column cross axis alignment, cross axis alignment dot start and uh, children. Once again, this will be exactly similar to this container, right? There will be only very small modification, so I'll just copy and paste this. The height will be just half of 225. I'll just give 11 one, one, 1.5. And uh, uh, the width I'll just subtract 72. Okay. Uh, and what else I need to change this to? beach two and yeah that's it now i'll just add another inside this column i'll add another uh, sized box for this uh, white line okay no wait i need to change this as well right now it is top right alone this rounded edge is top right alone Okay, now we have these three images. The image grid is done. Let's run this and see uh, what we have done so far. Oh no, we need to include this, right? Build image grid. We need to include that here, right? All right. Uh, wow, that's quite good, right? We have a nice looking image, a bigger image and a couple of smaller images just like we have on this particular grid. That's really cool. Fine. Uh, now that we have finished the image grid, let's just go ahead and create this particular uh, um, row of text. I think this is simply a row with three buttons at the end, right? It's exactly similar to what we did here. So I'll just run through this code. Okay. All right. Uh, now that we have our image grid, let's go ahead and finish this off by adding this row, which is nothing but two lines of text and a couple of images at the right end, right? So what I'll do is I'll simply run through this and then we'll focus on creating this tab bar, guys. Uh, obviously, it's pretty much easy, right? If you had already watched most of my videos, you would by now be comfortable uh, designing something like this. It's a simple row. And then you need to start the row with the column in which these two will be uh, separate rows. And then uh, here you need to have uh, the next element of the row is this three buttons, which will have cross axis alignment as center so that they are aligned in center with these two uh, rows of this column, which is again present inside this entire row, right? I think I might have confused you guys, but just rewind it once and hear it again and uh, you'll, you'll be... Uh, uh, understanding it a little bit uh, better so what i'll do is uh, one more function reject uh, image gallery detail 
I'll cut here and then uh, take you to the finished uh, typed screen. Since, as I said, it's nothing but uh, text and the uh, three images. That's it. Fine. Yeah, it's done, guys. I, as I said, it's just padding a row, and inside that row, I have a column, and that column, uh, the first text, a child, a child will be this. Wait. This text. The second child will be uh, this text. And the second child also has a dot and uh, two hours ago so instead of the dot I used a timer icon with a very small size so that it looks like a dot and uh, uh, two hours ago fine this is done as well and for the three images I uh, flutter doesn't have these outline icons so what I did was I took three images and then uh, used them inside inkwell so that they behave as buttons right so I can simply run this now and I will simply be able to get, you know, I won't be able to, I need to call this, right? Well, someone was asking me the other day why I'm just creating separate widgets like this and instead of coding it here itself. The reason is you won't be calling it like this, okay? You won't be calling multiple times like this. You will be using a list view or something and inside that you will simply loop, uh, you'll have a list of image grids. If you notice here, this is an image grid, this is an image grid and obviously if he scrolls through that, there will be like seven or eight more image grids like this, right? So each and every image grid will have a different set of images and correspond to uh, correspondingly they will also have a different uh, detail here as well. So uh, you will have that in a list and then you will use that list inside a list view to iterate through this particular uh, to iterate through that particular list and then display all those seven uh, image grids along with their corresponding uh, gallery detail that is this particular row. So in that case what you will do is you will just you simply do build image grid of one build image grid of two and uh, i mean by two i mean say for instance uh, this is one trip okay so you will have uh, and uh, there is a list called trips so it you will be like trips of zero right trips of i if you are iterating trips of i right so in that case uh, all the details pertaining to this particular trip will be sent to uh, uh build image grid and then the images will be picked off from that uh, particular uh, data that was sent and then uh, the image grid will be built and sent back right similarly you will do trips of i here as well right so you will get uh, uh, all the details image gallery details this is what will pick up data from this and then return it in this form then you will be simply using these two inside a a list view or a column or whatever uh, whatever your ua requires so this is the reason why i'm splitting this as separate widgets and then writing okay these are going to be repeated over a period of time right this is an image grid this is an image grid these will have rows and everything so i am just using these separated widgets whereas these are not going to get repeated right these are just it's just an app bar this is just a small container that uh, has a button and this is a title and uh, this looks like a button uh, these are not going to get repeated. These are fixed. Only these are going to be iterated. That's the reason why I uh, used separate widgets for these. Uh, yeah, that's it, guys. Fine. Uh, now let's do the app bar and finish off the screen. What? How, let me have a look at that. It's a bottom navigation bar, right? A simple bottom navigation bar. And that's it. So to do a bottom navigation bar, we just need to... State ticker provider state mix in single ticker provider state mix in tab for those who have been following my channel for some time now will already know about all this tab controller and tabs and everything i have a separate video on tabs guys kindly watch it once to understand a bit more about this uh, length 
was four right here. So uh, for right now we won't have any functionality in this obviously. Uh, I'll just use it for show until okay. Using this, uh, I have it ready now. I just need to use it inside my uh, body right. So after the scaffold, I'll just do bottom navigation bar material uh, color. Fine, I have four buttons. I don't know what this icon stands for. I mean, this icon is, looks like an EZJ icon. I can't find it. This is a search icon. This is a add circle and the home icon, right? Normally, for switching the colors in a tab, you will need to identify which is the active tab and then uh, switch it accordingly. But since our tab is now is just going to be a dummy one and not really going to be useful, I just gave the hard code of the colors right away. So let's rush, let's just run. Oh, hey. let's just run this now and see uh, how our screen looks, guys. All right, uh, let's. Uh, wow, it looks really good, right? Travelogram, and uh, we have this nice looking grid and uh, our title below it, and uh, the three buttons to the right of it. And we can scroll this, and our tab bar looks perfectly fine as well. The tab bar won't do anything if we tap on it obviously so yeah guys we have successfully recreated this entire screen on our uh, mobile device using flutter i hope oh there is a number here i noticed that anyway try to do that on your own guys this is a container as i showed you this is a container right instead of that container wrap that container inside a stack and then use a position widget to place this number exactly on where you want to uh, want it to be placed on the container. That's it. It's very simple. If you had already watched my videos, you would by now you know very well how to use a stack. Just try it on your own. So yeah, guys. Uh, in this video, we saw how to uh, recreate this entire screen, and uh, we have made a good job as well, as you can see here. Uh, in our next uh, videos, we'll just uh, try to recreate maybe these two screens as well. Uh, so yeah guys uh, this is what I wanted to show you guys today apologies once again if I if my voice was not uh, clear or something uh, I still haven't fully recovered from the sickness uh, some sort of fever that was spreading here it seems uh, anyway uh, yeah if you really like the video kindly hit the thumbs up button if you like what I'm doing on this channel kindly subscribe to my channel I make at least four to five videos a week uh and uh yeah so subscribe guys uh, subscribe and stay tuned uh, and i'll talk to you guys in my next video bye